Kidney disease is one of the most terrifying conditions in the world, impacting more than 37 million people in the United States alone. What makes it so scary, however, is that most of the notable symptoms only appear after 90% of kidney function is gone. Yes. 90%. So how do we avoid that? Well, the best bet against kidney disease would be to put it on a leash while it's still in early development stages. This means that you must learn to detect the initial symptoms of kidney disease to avoid the deadly repercussions. So here are 10 of the most common early signs of kidney disease that you gotta be mindful of. Number 10 is a symptom that most people never connect to their kidneys. High blood pressure. Did you know that your kidney controls your blood pressure? Around one liter of blood is processed by the kidney every minute, which adds up to a mind-blowing 1,440 liters every 24 hours. The kidneys contribute to the production of hormones that control and balance the presence of fluids and electrolytes that impact blood pressure too. With that being said, you can already guess that kidney damage or failure is the equivalent of having a major blood pressure controller shut down. This unsurprisingly leads to a lack of hormones that are to balance blood pressure. The longer the kidney stays damaged and undetected, the worse the blood pressure may get. There is also the effect that high blood pressure has on the kidney. Basically, just as kidney damage damage causes high blood pressure, high blood pressure also worsens the damage. Hey, here's a symptom that most people may be battling with. Number 9. Sleeping Problems Now, if you've been having a difficulty sleeping, then it might be in your best interest to know that your kidney's hormonal activity also affects your sleeping pattern. If the kidney fails, hormones like erythropoietin and renin can get out of control and cause insomnia. On another note, a healthy kidney is also a big part of the waste excretion from your body. The heavy presence of toxic compounds like urea and creatinine could cause extreme discomfort and hamper a good night's rest. So if you ever have tried going to bed while your bladder is full, that extreme discomfort that makes it ever so difficult to sleep as it's the same as sleeping with a system full of toxins. Also, kidney failure could lead to sleep apnea. Now this is a condition that causes a sudden interruption in your breathing that will jack you out of bed and make it even more difficult to go back to sleep. At the slightest signal of any of these symptoms, book a doctor's appointment. Do not ignore. While we are on the topic of breathing, number 8 is difficult breathing. At the base level, kidney failure allows toxins to build up in the body and cause breathing complications. Toxins like urea accumulate in the bloodstream and turn into ammonia, which then turns into headaches, confusion, and shortness of breath. Furthermore, a damaged kidney could also lead to anemia. Now that's a condition that arises from a lack of sufficient red blood cells needed to move oxygen across the body. So without proper means of oxygen transportation, the results are inevitably fatigue, weakness, and again, shortness of breath. And if you thought that was all, you would be wrong. There is also more to be said about the excess fluid, which piles up in the body thanks to improper kidney function. When these fluids continue to accumulate in the lungs, they eventually alter the free flow of breath. Did you know? that there are three different urine patterns that signal kidney failure. The worst part is that you are probably not paying any attention to it. Stick around for number one to find out. Well, for now, number seven is one that you may easily attribute to many other conditions, nausea and vomiting. Kidney damage usually means that your kidney will be unable to effectively filter the blood. This allows waste products like urea and creatinine to accumulate in the system, alongside other toxins that could cause that nauseating feeling. For a better understanding, think about how much your stomach immediately reacts when you eat something that has gone bad and you want to throw up. This is also the case when it comes to toxins in the stomach. Their quickest means of escape would be through the mouth. And hey, it's also worth mentioning that you need proper kidney function 
in order for your body to keep electrolytes in balance. When the kidney is unable to play this role, it usually causes stomach upset and eventually vomiting. Our number 6 pick is a symptom that is also common. Now you might not be taking it seriously enough. Fatigue and weakness. The kidneys are essential to sustaining your body's general wellness and health. So you may feel unnecessary fatigue and weakness when the kidney starts failing. Without being at full functionality, the kidney is usually able to properly excrete waste and extra fluid present in the body. This eventually allows toxins to flood the bloodstream and cause weakness. Kidney failure also affects a hormone called erythropoietin. Now this hormone controls the production of red blood cells and without proper kidney function. Erythropoietin levels in the body are reduced to critical levels and that eventually triggers a red blood cell deficiency condition called anemia, which also results in fatigue and weakness. That's a dangerous one to watch out for if you've been making over healthy lifestyle choices like eating and sleeping well but are still unable to overcome fatigue. Now making its way into the top 5 is a symptom that is as easy to ignore as you could possibly imagine. Number 5. Poor Focus As we have been saying in the video, the kidney filters toxins from the body. In fact, there are at least 1 million tiny filters on each kidney called nephrons. So when the kidneys suffer damage, you are left with a wide variety of toxins hanging out and quickly multiplying in the bloodstream. The longer they stay and the more these toxins become in the body, they could get to the brain. And just as you would have a lot of trouble concentrating in a stinky room, your brain is unable to as well. Your kidneys are like the resident sanitary officers in the body. Hence, when they do not function, the heap of waste in the body grows to a point where it occupies and influences the proper function of organs like the brain. But be sure to see a doctor if you regularly have trouble maintaining focus and concentration. It could be a key sign of kidney malfunction or other conditions. Number 4 is yet another symptom that you probably never associated with your kidneys. And as much as it may shock you, number 4 is itching. Itchy skin is another one of the signs that your kidney is failing and is unable to filter the crazy amount of waste that needs to be removed from the bloodstream. And there's a ton of waste products, toxins, and excess fluid that begin to take over the bloodstream since the kidney cannot take out the trash. With more waste in the system, it could get to the point of causing an itchy skin condition that is called uremic pruritus. This simply means that you begin to experience consistent itching despite not having any dermatology complaints. And we've already mentioned earlier in the video that the kidneys could also affect the balance of electrolytes. But the part you are most likely unaware of is that when there is no regulation for these electrolytes and minerals, it can cause dryness and the itching of the skin. While that is weird, Number three is a symptom absolutely no one wants to experience. Number three, bad breath. Of course, bad breath is connected to a pretty insane list of conditions. However, if you notice that it has almost become a constant, it may just be that your kidney is shutting down and needs immediate attention. This all boils down again to just how much excess waste and toxic materials have accumulated in the bloodstream. At this stage, the presence of these toxins could result in ammonia-like odors coming through the mouth. Urea is one of the compounds that is supposed to be filtered from the bloodstream by the kidney. However, where there is kidney failure, urea is allowed to pile up. And once it gets to a high enough level, it leaves quite an embarrassing mark on the breath and that comes out of your mouth. We recommend trying out mince gums and healthy brushing of your teeth to fix the bad breath. If your stinky breath does not seem to be budging, it's in your best interest to see a doctor. Number two is a symptom that you may notice at the mid to late level of kidney damage. 
which is muscle pains and swelling. With a damaged kidney, your body automatically loses its ability to balance electrolytes in the system. This is almost seamless introduction to the world of muscle cramps. Another connection the kidneys have already made to the muscles is through potassium. Too much potassium in the body is fertile ground for developing weak muscles, muscle cramps, and in worse cases, cardiac arrhythmia. Nonetheless, potassium is also one of the compounds that the kidneys help excrete in excess of. So when there's little or no kidney function, you could have a long list of muscle complications waiting in line to attack. While we are talking about muscle complications, you may also want to be watchful of swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet. This swelling is a result of unfiltered fluids from the body when the kidney fails to function. When these fluids are unable to find a means out, the result is a pool in your feet that cause swelling. Consider how you feel when you have been standing for a really long time and your legs feel way heavier than they should, taking up more of a canko look. If you notice swelling in your feet or legs, see a doctor immediately. Your kidneys may just be shutting down and your life is in danger. And at the very most top of today's list of symptoms is one that could appear in three different ways. And you gotta be extremely watchful for all three. Number one, urine. The foremost symptom you may notice in this category is persistent urination. If your kidneys stop working, then it becomes unable to effectively control the stability of fluids in the body. And as soon as these fluids begin to get out of control, the result manifests as frequent trips to the bathroom to pass urine. Once the kidney stops functioning, the bladder goes on a parade to just empty itself every minute. Kidney damage ultimately leads to increased urine production and makes it more difficult to hold urine. The next thing you may notice about your urination is that despite making so many trips to the bathroom, the urine output that follows does not seem to be any significant. Well, this is because of a a lot of excess fluid in the body that has already started flowing to other parts. So what is left to pass as urine is the little that your bladder can hold. And finally, keep an eye on your urine. When the kidney starts to fail, the urine output is usually overly foamy and frothy. The kidney is the organ that processes proteins and nutrients for your body. Even more fascinating, at full functionality, the kidney can even absorb nutrients in the process of filtering blood. While taking out the toxins, it also reabsorbs nutrients to be redeployed into the system. However, in the event that it is unable to, then most of these nutrients end up in the urine that you pass. So don't look away and flush after urinating. Be sure that your urine is not more foamy than it should be. If you find yourself suffering any of these symptoms, it's in your best interest to see a doctor as soon as you notice. Earlier is always better. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on the video on your screen right now if you want to see more.